Hello guys and welcome back to the next episode of my Minecraft Skyblock series. This is a ultimate guide video, an updated version of the Dragon Boss Arena guide. Because um, a lot has changed, I've learned a few new things of how to get more damage, get more frags, etc. So this is a updated Dragon Boss Arena guide to, to hopefully help you out, understand it a bit more and potentially get some more damage. So first things first, the Dragon Boss Arena, what is it? The, the D-Boss is basically an arena where you can go and fight the dragon. The dragon are spawned, uh, spawns by using summoning eyes, which are obtained by killing shadow summoners, these endermen. Like that. So you kill them, and then you've got a chance to obtain the summoning eyes. You get a guaranteed one after 35, but you can get random drops. Um, the summoning eyes will drop into your overflow inventory. Here I've got 26. Um, a big change since last season are these are untradeable. You cannot sell them on the auction. You used to be able to sell them for like 10 mil a piece at the start, but you cannot sell them anymore. You can only place them. Okay, so things that you need to know before going to the Dragon Boss Arena. There are, in the D Boss menu, there are different types of dragon armor. There are seven to be precise, ranging from lower tiers to the ultimate high tier champion armor. Um, in your own time you can read through each section of what the benefits are so if you want to just read through and pause it on each bit um, please do but for the purpose of this video and the dragon boss arena itself we will discuss defensive dragon armor because it gives you damage boost to the uh, dragon obviously <laughs> so you can craft this by using dragon frags um, you can click to see the recipe for a helmet, you need 50 frags, place it in that section like so. There are five levels of every armor and as the levels progress you have to put the original item in and then place the frags around it. It's 10 for the first, uh, second level 2, 20 each for level 3, 30 for 4, 40 for 5 and that's the same with each piece of armor. Now, Dragon Armor is very, very important. It gives you a lot of extra damage, um, which is definitely going to help you out. If you look at my Dragon Armor at the minute, we've got level two, a full level two kit, um, but we will be upgrading that at a point during the video because I've obtained some more Dragon Frags. So, what else can help you get damage in the Dragon Boss Arena? So, next up, it's the pets. Pets can help you out massively in the arena. Um, to show you specifically my pet cage for D-Boss, we've got the summoner pet, which increases your chance of summoning eyes drop. Um, you can get that to a max level of five. I've got it to level four at the moment, which can be 4% bonus. Iron Golem pet gives you permanent strength two um, and resistance one. Um, you can get that to level three, mine's level two. Um, so it saves you having to use potions. And then the Skeleton pet level 5 gives you 11% bow damage increase, which is massive for when you're using the bow at the D-Boss. So they're my three pets for the Dragon Boss Arena. Um, some people have different preferences, but they are mine and they help me get a certain amount of damage. Um, so it's worth uh, trying to invest in pets if you can. Um, if you want to unlock three pet slots, the first one is free. The second slot is 2,500 souls. The third slot is 5,000 souls. That is a grind. A serious grind so just be aware of that maybe space it out over a week I do a bit each day because it's pretty long and then the next way you can get more damage is upgrading your Doo -doo -doo -doo. archery so archery for me I'm ninth in the server I'm in the top 10 because I've done a ton of DBOS and Leveling up your archery, I think, I believe it gives you more damage, or at least more accuracy, so you're more likely to hit it. Um, so if you just you're going to have to spend a lot of time in DBoss to level up your archery, but it does go up. Um, it takes a bit of time, but it will go up there, and you will see the difference. And then finally, the enchants that you need. So for my bow, this is my bow. It's the YouTube bow. We've got Dragon Hunter five and Dragon Tracker three. Um, those are the two main dragon enchants that you want. 
they are the highest level, you should also get Fiery Barrage 5 because that has a chance to shoot multiple arrows at once which are covered in fire which obviously do more damage. Um, there are some other stuff on there, I suggest just trying to max out your bow anyway because it will benefit you in the future. And then on your sword um, you want Dragon Slayer 5, um, that's the main one for the D-Boss D Dragon Slayer 5, it's very good. Um, it, if you do get a bow hit, a bow hit, a sword hit somehow, then you'll be doing a lot more damage if you've got Dragon Slayer 5 because it multiplies the damage you do to the boss. So yeah, that is very interesting. Now, let me try to demonstrate to you how to upgrade armor. So we'll start off with a helmet, like so. We'll get rid of these and we'll go into my personal vault. Um, I need, I can't remember how many frags it is. It's 80, I think, to upgrade it to one piece. So this is level two and I'm upgrading it to level three. Okay, so you go into the deboss crafting, you put the item that you want to upgrade in the middle, you put 10 in each slot, like so. It has to be exactly 10, otherwise it won't work. Oh, see? Oh. Oh, it's 20, isn't it? Because it's uh, the next level. Sorry, I forgot I was just upgrading it once. Um, we're going to run out of this one. But there we go. There's definitely a quicker way to do this than what I'm doing, but here's what it is. There we go. So we are upgrading that to level 3. And level 3 gives us a 6% damage to mobs and bosses. Um, and the set gives 3% chance to drop summoning eyes and 2% hearts while in D boss. So that goes in there. We take that out. And we can re equip that as level 3. Now, the question is do we have enough to do another piece of armor? Because it'd be good to demonstrate it. I'm pretty sure we do. Um, so we will do the chest plate. We'll go into our deboss crafting menu. Hopefully we've got enough. Here is another example for you. Put the item in the middle, like so. Place the frags around the outside, like so. And you have another piece of level three armor. And then, because we're in deboss, everything goes in overflow. And you can simply equip that armor. There we have two pieces of level three armor, which is very cool. Got two more to go. We currently don't have enough frags to do that. Um, so we put our frags away and wait until the next one. Now, next on the tips, I always film my inventory because I don't want people to throw stuff at me. Um, the next stuff that is extremely important while we wait for the dragon, extremely important, um, is the new endstone masteries. So, Endstone Mastery, you can level it up by mining. Um, and as you can see, through uh, upgrading your stuff, you can increase the maximum amount of fragments obtained in DBoss by 5. You take 20% less damage in DBoss by, uh, by the Dragon or the Enders, Endermen, the Summoners. You can also increase the chances of Summon and Eye Drop by 5%. And then for Tier 8, you can increase the maximum fragments for... Uh, obtained by 10 so you can get a maximum of 25 in total cool so it's worth doing that um, absolutely worth it you can actually get double drops from killing endermen um, so it's worth upgrading the uh, endstone masteries now let's try to give you an example of a dragon boss so as you can see in the chats people are placing eyes you need 16 to ignite the dragon. We will place six of our eyes in here as an example. I do not recommend placing more than six um, because there's no, just no point really. You can obtain the maximum frags if you do damage and get six. So the dragon boss is commencing. Pop a golden apple, get the bow out. So it's an experienced dragon and you just shoot your arrows. At the dragon, sometimes it registers, sometimes it's not. You can get really lucky, or you can have really 
rubbish ones like I'm having at the minute, where the hits just don't really register. But you basically continually fight the dragon. Sometimes the dragons come down and you can um, hit it with your sword, do more damage, multiply the damage. Other times uh, it just stays in the air and it's killed in the air. But we're doing 330 damage at the moment. The dragon is quite some distance away from us. We're struggling to hit it. I jump because it helps me get above the arrows. But we're doing 402 damage. Which is okay. And it's about to die. 430. So we made it to third in the leaderboard. There we go. And we got the maximum amount of fragments, which is 25 Dragon Boss fragments. And we also get a legendary pouch. So these pouches, what are they? Um, we will show you that very quickly. So the legendary pouches, you get them from obtaining top five in the uh, D boss arena and in here we've got there are different tiers you can get common which I don't have any of you can get epic you can get legendary and you can get mythical boss pouches I believe the mythical are the best um, and you can simply get some cool rewards from them such as grinder keys at the top of the list um, and others other cool rewards but to open these pouches you just right click on the floor onto a block and then it rolls certain items through here, like so. So there are some cool rewards sometimes, like 5k sky coins, yeah sure. But it's just kind of a billy bonus really. And then, once you've killed the dragon, all of the frags that you obtain go in your overflow inventory. Um, I might have mentioned that already. Um, and you can do as you please with these frags. You can keep them, store them away in your vault so you can upgrade your armour. Um, that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. As you can see, I've got some armor. I've got these dragon. The Colossal is full level 2 at the moment. Explosive is still level 1. Hasty is level 1. Um, and then Experience is a level 2 helmet, but the rest are at level 1. Um, and then there's some other random armors for you to look at. But now I'll give you an... Uh, we'll do another dragon just to show you again what it's like. Um, I will place some eyes hopefully to get it kicked off. It might take a little bit of time for it to start off, so I will bring you back once the dragon spawns. Okay, and the next dragon is spawning, finally, after a long wait, and it's a colossal. Um, there's a lot of people here, so I think we might struggle to get some damage. We've done a whole one damage. <laughs> That's quite insane. But, um, yeah. We're going to struggle with this one because there's so many people here, it's just blocking all the shots. You know, we can try. 107. We've had worse. We're at the start, we were doing like 20 damage a time, but you see how quickly this dragon died. That's the amount of damage that it's got here. And there's a lot of good players in the arena at the moment. But either way, we did 164 damage, which is nowhere near enough for the leaderboard. Um, but we got 17 frags and an epic boss pouch. Um, which we've got in here. There we go. 17 frags. We've got two more summoning eyes in there, which is cool. Um, and that is that. So yes, that is all for the guide. I hope that helps you understand the D-Boss a little bit more than you did before. Um, because it's quite a difficult thing, and it's a frustrating thing, because when you're not doing any damage, even though you're doing everything you should be doing, it's very, very annoying. So hopefully that helps you a bit. It clears some stuff up. Um, if you've got any further questions or any other tips that you think are useful, uh, just comment down below. Um, but thanks very much for watching. And there's a summoning eye to finish off the video. And I'll see you in the next one.